Dear friends, welcome to my channel. This is Dr. T. S. Sundar Vadivel. So, in this video, we are going to see how to understand the projections of planes problem. And by the way, we are going to solve a problem uh, of uh, projections of planes in this video. Here, the problem which we have taken for uh, solving is a pentagonal lamina resting on a horizontal plane on a corner such that the lamina is inclined at 30 degrees to HP and edge opposite to the resting corner is inclined at 40 degrees to VP. So whenever a projections of planes problem is considered we have to check three things. One is the resting condition which is uh, denoted in the red color okay resting on a corner so that is the resting condition then second one surface inclination which is denoted in the blue color so how the lamina surface of the lamina is inclined either to hp or vp that is the second condition and third one edge inclination so which is denoted in the blue green color Okay. So, how the edge is oriented with the horizontal plane or vertical plane. So, these three things are very very important. Okay. So, we have to segregate these three things from any of the projections of planes problem. We have to note these three things carefully. It may be given directly or <coughs> in some problems it may not be given directly. But we have to imagine and find out these three conditions if it is not given directly. We are going to follow first angle projection scheme for solving this problem. So vertical plane will come above xy line and the horizontal plane will come below xy line. So the front view will come in the horizontal plane which is above xy line and top view will come on the horizontal plane which is below xy line. Right. So uh, first, very first thing, where the true shape should come, true shape is nothing but the shape of the polygon. Okay, so where the true shape should come, that is decided by surface inclination. Already we have noted three conditions. So among that, surface inclination is also one of, one of the condition we have noted. So surface inclination only decides where to draw the true shape, either in the front view or in the top view. Right? So, the uh, table which is uh, denoted here, from this table we can see that if the surface is inclined to horizontal plane, if the surface is inclined to horizontal plane, the two shape should be drawn in the top view. If the surface is inclined to vertical plane, the two shape should be drawn to the, drawn in the front view. Okay? So, this is the first condition we have to note. Right? So, the true shape in our problem, the surface is inclined to HP. So, the true shape should be drawn in the top view. Right? Then, how to orient? Either we have to take a corner to the left or edge to the left. What about the orientation of the lamina? How to orient the lamina? So, that is decided by the resting condition. If the lamina is resting on a corner, we have to take a corner to the left and the edges contained by that corner should be equally inclined. In that manner, we have to draw. So, this point is very, very important. If we make any mistake in these two conditions, means the total problem will be wrong. So, if a lamina is inclined to HP, we have to take, uh, we have to draw the true shape in the top view. If a lamina is inclined to VP, we have to draw the true shape in the front view. So in our problem, though the lamina is inclined to HP, we have to draw the true shape in the top view. And secondly, lamina is resting on a corner. So I am going to take a corner to the left. So here we can see that the vertical plane is coming above xy line and the horizontal plane is coming below xy line. 
okay and uh, we are going to draw the pentagon as shown in the green color line green colored lines right so we are uh, we are placing the scale in uh, a vertical fashion and we are drawing the vertical line which is in the right hand side so if we take a vertical line in the right hand side automatically a corner will come on the left hand side that is our idea so we are fixing the vertical line so the size of the pentagon is 25 mm so what we are doing is we are keeping the scale and we are measuring 25 mm and we locate two points keep the template as shown in this uh, figure and then uh, fix those two points which we have drawn earlier and locate the other three points name the points as a b c d e in any order we can name and then join a b b c c d d e and e a so we got the top view now and then project a to the x y line you will get a dash project b and e to front view you will get b dash and c dash project c and d to the front view we will get c dash and d dash so the points a b c will be visible to the observer in the front view that's what those points are coming in the without brackets and c dash and d dash are coming inside brackets that means c dash uh, sorry e dash and d dash are coming inside brackets that means e dash and d dash are not visible to the observer okay so simple logic this one is a simple logic that is the points which are nearer to x y line will not be visible to the observer okay after that leaving some sufficient space we are taking a point arbitrarily and we are taking the protractor and then we are uh, taking the surface inclination we are measuring the surface inclination 30 degrees and fixing a point for the 30 degrees we are drawing a line which denotes the surface inclination and then we are measuring a dash b dash distance from the first stage figure and we transfer that uh, a dash b dash distance to the inclined line literally what we are doing here is we are making the line a dash b a dash c dash to an inclined fashion then we measure a dash c dash distance and then we transfer that distance to the inclined line so that we got the same line a dash c dash a dash c dash line inclined for 30 degrees so what we made here the surface of the lamina is inclined to 30 degrees so we gave the surface inclination now and we have to note one more point also we can see that a1 dash is touching xy line it means that a corner a1 dash is a point a point is a corner so that point is resting on xy line so two conditions we are satisfying here surface is making 30 degrees and a corner is touching xy line that is a corner is resting on hp
all the points of the front view that is a1 dash b1 dash and so on downwards using vertical lines similarly from the uh, from the top view project all the a b c d points using horizontal lines then join the intersection of those lines that is a1 dash and a joins to form a1 please remember this a1 dash and a joins to form a1 that is the top view of the second stage similarly join uh, similarly join and get b1 c1 d1 e1 and so on then join a1 b1 b1 c1 c1 d1 and so on you will get the polygon that is apparent shape of the polygon you will get then enclose this polygon inside a box so that box is being shown in the red color you should not use red color for your drawing just for instance we are showing just for differentiating we are showing that in red color so here what we have to do is uh, join just the that box will be formed already just give some different names that is roman numbers 1 2 3 and 4 and so on you can give it so four points were created so enclose the apparent shape inside the box and next step is to take edge inclination so for that leave some sufficient distance and fix a point then keep the protractor then measure the uh, edge inclination in our problem it is 40 degrees so measure 40 degrees and fix a point that point is shown in the blue colored line blue colored point so our idea is to tilt that line cd that is c1 d1 to 40 degrees that is the edge opposite to the resting corner should be inclined for 40 degrees that is our given problem so already we fixed the point a as the resting point okay so the edge opposite to the resting point should be cd so as per the problem cd should be inclined for 40 degrees so uh, we can make uh, one and two the lines were roman numbers one and two should be in, to be inclined for 40 degrees or the line which is parallel to one and two that is 3 and 4 are parallel to one and two so i am making the lines 3 and 4 to be inclined for 40 degrees that is i am fixing 3 and 4 in the 40 degree line then taking the point 3 and 4 as the base i have to get the other two points 2 and 1 so for that what i am doing is i am keeping the protractor on 3 point row number 3 and then taking 90 degrees then i am shifting the protractor to point 4 and i am fixing 90 degrees so that i will be getting two blue colored points like this draw lines from points 3 and 4 and then transfer the distance of 3 to and 4 1 in the corresponding line using compass and get the remaining points 1 and 2 so that we will get a box that red colored box 1 2 3 4 4 uh, in an inclined fashion now the next step is to transfer all the points that is a1 a2 sorry a1 e1 d1 c1 b1 to the corresponding lines in the inclined box so take uh, the distance of 3 e1 using compass and transfer it to the corresponding line so we will get the point e2 similarly take the distance of 4 b1 and transfer it to the corresponding line from 4 so we will get 4 b2 that is b2 we will get it take the distance of 4 a1 that is from the corner you take the distance measurement of a1 
and you transfer it uh, to the corresponding line. So you will get A2. Similarly, do it for the other two points D2 and C2. Now join A2, B2, C2, D2 and E2 then with A2 so that we will get the uh, apparent shape inclined uh, for edge inclination. Then uh, project A2, B2, C2, D2 and E2 using vertical lines. Similarly in the second stage, in the second stage front view you just draw horizontal lines from A1 dash, B1 dash, C1 dash, D1 dash and E1 dash. Then join A2 and A1 dash. That is the junction which uh, the, uh, the point which arises due to joining of A1 dash and A2 is the final front view A2 dash. Just join simply in simple colloquial terms we can say that join A and A you will get A2 dash. B and B, you will get B2 dash. Similarly, for the other points, C2 dash, E2 dash, D2 dash and so on. So, after getting those points, join A2 dash, B2 dash, C2 dash, D2 dash and E2 dash in the order, orderly fashion. So, we will get the final front view. Finally, uh, don't forget to dimension the problem. Okay. Whatever the measurements given in the question, it should be dimensioned, it should be shown in the figure. Similarly, the symbol which is shown in the bottom, uh, bottom most right hand side is the symbol for first angle projection. And you have to denote all dimensions are in mm. So these things are mandatory things. Dimensioning, then this symbol, then all dimensions are in mm. You should not mention mm or cm inside the diagram. Only you have to follow unique units throughout and finally you have to draw, you have to write all dimensions are in mm. Thank you.